You're going to find that um, Chris Finn likes to do chicken songs. We have a couple of them tonight. <laughs> but since this is lifelong learning, there are things that you know we need to educate you about. And so Ann and I wish to share uh, this idea that currently there's a lot of confusion and open discussion about gender, particularly in Florida. <laughs> now, you may ask, how can there be gender confusion? Well, here's an example that we experienced. Ann and I lived in Dallas and Texas in 1979. And when the two of us went to Dallas restaurants, people would look up from their table, drop their silverware in shock that two tall, proud, and happy lesbians deigned to integrate their barbecue joint. I would just smile and give them the queen's wave. <laughs> we thought when we moved to Northern California, we had kind of left that homophobia behind us. So one night, while living in Menlo Park in Silicon Valley, having escaped from Texas, around 9.30 at night, one of our new neighbors we had not yet met knocked on our front door. Wanting to seem friendly, I let her come in. That was a mistake. She said she and her husband had a bet going that only Ann and I could solve. Which one of us was the male? And so at first, I tried to approach this question logically to her. She had obviously been drinking a lot. I said, I, I think you misunderstand the concept of a lesbian couple. There's no man here. <laughs> that answer did not satisfy her. So I finally had to politely escort her out of the house. The bottom line in hindsight, I should have said to the neighbor as I opened the front door that night, there ain't nobody here but us chickens, and shut the door.